Hello everyone. I know a lot of people were confused on how the 3D NES emulator works and I would like to show you in this little demonstration or tutorial on how to work this emulator. Now they use uh, Unity. Okay, let's uh, go back uh, and and the way they have the how the way they have to make the three D is they they take the sprites eight by eight pixels is how is one sprite, but since Mario right here is about four to eight uh no four to six sprites put together the way it works <clears throat> let's see I click on Mario here you can't see him well but yeah um, yeah and then you go to editor and you can change the his details the editing um, the first thing is unknown unknown means any of these char actually stands for character it's C H A R you put A C T E R but it's they didn't spell it all the way I don't know why but yeah it stands for character it means it's a 2D thing now horizontal cylinder is pretty much making him a uh, making him into a, um, a pipe like from this side let me get a better example okay let's do let's give him eight where is it from above I don't know uh, this thing kind of sucks For an example, let me put 16 in so you'll see. Okay, yeah, it's from the side. It makes them into a, a pipe like thing. <coughs> and it's hard to grab this thing. And if I do it from, it, it's like a pipe like thing. And if I do vertical, and uh, when you look at from uh, from above, you can see the uh, uh, darn it. You can see the circles. So this is what they use for the pipe when you go d when you're going down. A uh, cube. It make uh, Mario. Darn it! I wish I can grab onto him a lot easier. But this kind of sucks. Okay, it makes a cube out of him. Full cube, but probably. Well, for an example, it's hard to tell you what uh, cube and full cube is all about. Um. Full cube is just making them solid all in all corners, like a block uh, square. And cube would just be certain areas that would show up. Since I'm using the wrong spray uh, character or something, it probably won't mean anything. Okay, four. No, this is eight. 16 okay so that'd be 32 so Mario's about 32 pixels because you have 8 here and 8 there that'd be 16 and 16 yeah wonder if I put 32 and see what I get out of it oh you get two Mario's I think I had it right the first time. 16. 
and just make him as a character. I mean, he, it is a character. He is a character after all. And if you want him just to be uh, smaller, let me try uh, eight. See what I get out of that. Uh, it, it's perfect. Yeah, that's how you make a 3D Mario. And now I got that out of the way. Back and front. Unknown means it automatically changes depending on how many times. Uh, you know what? That's probably something I should have used when I when it goes in the castle. But yeah, if I put him in the back, he goes further back. If I front, he goes in the front. Let's put unknown and see where does that go from here. Okay. He jumps on them and becomes big. You have to change every single animation when it comes to changing. Look at the pipes. That's how that uses a. Uh, hold on. Where's my game controller so I can move on? Because when it comes to the animation, jump up there, Mario. When I uh, change him, see uh, where, where, what it does. Uh, let's make uh, that uh, 32. Okay, there we go. And when I when he jumps up, he changes back to something else. But um, let's do it again. Thirty-two. Each frame, you have to make. You just constantly have to make changes every frame, slowly and just, but. Uh, too bad it doesn't come pre set for just one. You have to do every single animation on this, so it's kind of tedious. No, since we're near a pipe, I'm going to pick that and move back a little because this is redundant. I have to, I can't even move. So it uses the vertical, so if I do this, then it'll just be on the side. And you look up, you don't see the pipe as what, the way it is. And if I do character, it'll just be a block, but yeah, make it one. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to look like, a flat thing, but flat surface. 32 is what it should have been. There we go. Now, perfect circle. That's a perfect circle when I put 32 in. <clears throat> um, now, you can navigate on each thing individually like the letters every time you click on navigate N A B nav for some reason on um, what you want to choose if you can't click on them correctly like I want to click on something that's uh, hard to click on and you just use navigate but sometimes it you don't need to, but the frame you just advance by how many frames uh, in the game. Graphics. Okay, we're done with editor since that should be enough for you to know. Actually, maybe just one more thing. Uh, Z scale is depending on if they're in the front they move through they stretch out further in the back 
Let's see, 32. What is, I didn't choose a character, that's why. 32. Oh, that's how it works. It just stretches them out that way. If I put them in the back, I put them in the front, makes no difference, I guess. Just go back to one. Yeah, that's pretty much something else. But if I do 32 here, it doesn't make it as big, but if I do three, he gets big. If I 32, he gets become really big. But if I do one, huh, it's kind of strange how that works. Yeah, so there we go. I think whatever that uh, other thing was, like uh, AS, I still don't know. And you can see the flashing. So that's kind of, I guess it's telling me what it is, but I can't see it when it flashes. I'll just have to watch the video again in slow motion just to capture it slowly and pause it when it uh shows up. General, it's just open this. I don't need to explain everything what all of this is here. Open is to open a ROM, reset the reset the game, exit the exit the whole emulator, save 3DN is just to save the changes you made and the whole thing. So you can save your fixes like I have done here. But the only problem is certain games maps don't work that well, like Super Mario Brothers 3. I had trouble trying to get every single every single sprite to get it to work right. Um, sound, I can add stereo to it, but I think it would just be doubling on the voices and it would just be like it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, uh, NES takes you uses five voices, and it just makes it echoey or in a digitally kind of way. Now, this is changes the quality. You see the shadow uh, disappear when I change the quality, and this would just uh, make uh, it uh, I don't even understand some of these things but yeah you can make analog grayscale yeah that's pretty much trying to go for old school even though it's not even close to old school about you can learn about who made this program Generic, and there we go. This is what it'll look like in full motion. Let me see if I <coughs> I made some So you already seen me play the game in the other video if you haven't watched it yet. I never mess with the coins. I left it the way they are because I think it looks kind of cool. That's the way they are. My Bluetooth controller is not doing so well. Oh, I got 5,000. That's good. The way I have the castle, he just walks right through it because I didn't know how to work with it. But yeah, there you go. There's the tutorial on how to work a uh, beta, no alpha emulation. It's just, it's still it, its infancies. It's still being worked on. I mean, it's not perfect from the start, so it might become something good or better later on, hopefully. And then we get to play all the other cool games 
in 3D. I know some games don't do so well like The Legend of Zelda. I mean, they work. It's just that the 3D kind of sucks when you're looking over an overhead type of thing. Uh, and here, take a look at Super Mario Brothers 3. I have tried to fix it. Let me change the graphics. I'm going to get all of this garbage off there. Three D is not perfect, but I did what I could. <coughs> to make it look at least decent while playing. So yeah, he's supposed to go behind that and Oh yeah, you want to look at the over... Darn it, where's my controller at? Hey, this looks kind of nice. I thought I had... Oh, except for the... The blocks go in the back. Watch what happens when I go down. He, 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 he's behind, but he can't be touched. What the? Thank you. Darn it! But you get the idea. You can see the shadows. I just died, Mario. But yeah. There we go. There's the tutorial on how to use the 3D NES emulator. Have a good one, guys.